Okay, so now what we're going to start looking at is one another aspect of facilities design. We've spent a lot of time on the middle aspect there of the layout design. We're going to look a little bit more at facility system design and then um, follow that by material handling. So facility system design sort of encompasses all of these seven or eight different categories. We're going to look at them one at a time. So the structural system of the, of the building themselves has to do with um, what kind of things are on the outside of the building or that hold the building up, the columns, the windows, those kinds of things. Um, columns are important in a big, big facility, and I think I've talked to most of you about this, that in any kind of large facility, there's going to be columns that are at either a, from a 20 to a 40 foot grid within the facility. And you need to plan for them because if they happen to end up in an aisle in your design, that will mess up your design. So that needs to be um, thought about. Also, um, the any kind of other structures, if there's um, things that need to be done for earthquake, um, you need to be considering that. The enclosure system, that has to do with the windows and what um, sort of closes the building up around the outside. Most of the energy lost in a facility goes either through the windows or through the leaking um, in, the, in the facility. Now, old facilities often have a sort of an air leakage problem, but new facilities are probably pretty well sealed um, or, or the windows open in a way that they will be able to close um, well. But enclosure systems are important. The amount of windows is something you need to consider. Windows cause glare on um, computer, for computer screens, and that's a little bit better than it used to be, but there is still an issue of you know, too much light in the facility. But most people work better with natural light, so it is good, it's actually a good thing to have windows and skylights in, in a facility. The atmospheric system has to do with the heating, air conditioning, and ventilation. And in addition, it has to do with if you have a clean room needs, you need to consider that. Clean rooms are really just a highly filtered room, a highly filtered and sealed room. Most of them, all clean rooms also have a higher pressure in inside the room than outside the room so that air flows out of the out of the room all the time and any air that's being pumped in is filtered very very completely. And that's really all a clean room is, is a really well done filtering system. So if anything you do has to have clean rooms, you need to consider that too. Electrical and lighting systems, where it, where do you need the plugs? I think the food bank told me um, that they had gone and, and really mapped out exactly where all the light outlets, all the outlets are for the electricity. This is actually a really big deal in facilities. If you don't have stuff um, coming down from the ceiling, stuff meaning electrical outlets or air or any kind of other um, gas lines or something coming from the ceiling that's very flexible. If that's not the case, then you need to be very careful about where you place any kind of electrical access. Life safety systems, this has to do with fire extinguishers or um, any kind of um, like sprinkler system. Almost all buildings require this by code. Now I'm not, I'm not saying that these are all the all these things you need to completely understand how to do or how to design for, but I, but you need to take them into account when you are designing a system. You need to think about these life safety systems are part of what you need to consider. Sanitation systems, if there's any kind of waste that, it, that comes out of your processes or in your manufacturing processes, or even just um, there needs to be a sink somewhere, how are you gonna handle those kind of sanitation? Building automation systems, is there going to be uh, is it going to be wireless internet? Is it going to be some sort of um, some sort of landline, a T line, or something? You need to consider that and build it into your system. There might be places where you have to have computer terminals in the middle of the factory. How are you going to handle that? How is that automation going to be uh, happening? And then lastly, it's a facility maintenance system. This is taking care of maintenance of the facility. How are you going to service your machines? How are you going to have janitors? Where are their items going to be stored? All of this has to be part of the facility system.